NCIS fans rejoice. Your favorite show is getting its first ever international treatment. The hit show, which has so far spawned three spin-offs based in LA, New Orleans, and Hawaii, will be heading down under for its first ever international series. The show will have brand new storylines and feature an all-local Aussie cast. Today we are discussing everything we know so far about the first international spin-off. So don't go anywhere. First up, how did it come about? NCIS is one of the longest running shows on American TV and is still one of the most watched shows in the country, and as we know, has so far spawned multiple spin-offs. So it was only natural that the hit show branched out even further to international shores. The latest addition to the NCIS universe sees the show make its debut down under next year with NCIS Sydney. The show will be filmed on location in Australia and will feature local stories with local actors, which we think is great. We wonder how many Home and Away and Neighbors actors will appear on the show. Home and Away and Neighbors are staples of Australian daytime TV for those who don't know. Beverly McGarvey of Viacom CBS Australia and New Zealand said, We are thrilled to welcome the inaugural international series of NCIS to Australian shores. And we bet she is. Australia has seen some of the toughest lockdown measures of any country during the COVID pandemic, and the TV industry has seriously suffered, with hit show Neighbours being forced to take a hiatus and others even being cancelled. NCIS Sydney will air on Paramount Plus and also locally in Australia on Network 10. As long as there are no more lockdowns and COVID COVID measures announced down under, this one should be with us sometime in 2023. So what else do we know about the first international version of NCIS? Stay with us to find out. So with the show set to air sometime in 2023, we know that filming will soon be underway for NCIS Sydney. McGarvey went on to describe how much of a privilege it was for her network to be able to continue the legacy of such a wonderful show and incorporate the superior NCIS storytelling while introducing new Australian characters and locations. She went on to tell fans that the network could not wait for production to get underway. Australia and its economy needed a win after the crushing events of the past two years, and to have an international production come to the country, which will use all local talent, will be something which can't come soon enough. After Neighbours was dropped by its UK broadcaster, Channel 5, this is a huge announcement for Australian TV. In the hot seat for NCIS Sydney is Shane Brennan, who also created NCIS Los Angeles. Brennan is actually an Aussie himself, so will understand better than maybe an American would what the Australian audience wants and needs. Are you excited for this one? What do we know about the cast then? Well, let's see. Well, right now, not a lot. There have been no announcements regarding who will appear in the Australian spin-off just yet. We do know that the show will feature predominantly Australian actors and crew. It is still very early in the process, and with the show only just being announced, not only has there been no announcement made regarding cast, but it is very unlikely that any auditions have even been held, nor a story written just yet. Obviously, there needs to be a story, so we know who the characters are, and then the crew can cast accordingly, right? We know that the other NCIS shows are fond of using a blend of established actors and younger talent, so it will be interesting to see which direction the creators of NCIS Sydney go in. Who would you like to see cast in the show? Let us know below. Some criticism of the Sydney announcement now. Stay with us. Australian fans of the NCIS franchise will undoubtedly be excited about the recent announcement, which will see the show given its first international outing down under. But not all fans are as delighted as the Australian fan base. Some fans have claimed that taking the show to Australia's most iconic city, complete with Harbour Bridge and Opera House and all that good stuff, might in fact be stretching the franchise a little too far. And some fans have questioned whether it is a good idea to sacrifice quality over quantity. With Hawaii having debuted last year and LA and New Orleans still going strong, there have been concerns that the main NCIS show could be hit hardest. One fan on Reddit asked, how many NCIS shows are too many? Original is nearing the end as NCIS LA, NCIS NCIS Hawaii is enjoyable, but who knows if it's coming back? We understand the concerns that the franchise could be spreading itself a little thin, but surely they have thought of this before heading to Australia. They must have the manpower and the budget to focus on the Australian spin-off without it impacting the main show, or is the plan to quietly phase out the main show? The show's longtime lead, Mark Harmon, recently departed, and with this recent addition to the NCIS universe, there is a chance fans could become disillusioned and start to lose interest. What do you make of these concerns? Let us know your thoughts below. Let's look at what it's like to play an autopsy dead body in the NCIS universe now. Stay tuned. No matter how many spin-offs the NCIS universe throws at fans, there is one constant we can absolutely bank on. There will always be a dead body or two on every episode. But what is it actually like to play a dead body on the show? Well, apparently, it's no walk in the park. Some of the show's actors have actually claimed it might be one of the worst jobs on TV. Any bodies that are found under suspicious circumstances are then subject to the team poking and prodding 
around back at NCIS HQ. And viewers have always wondered whether or not the bodies are real or fake. We can confirm that the vast majority of dead bodies on the show are played by actual live actors. And it seems as though it'd be easy, right? All you have to do is just lie there. Well, picture this. You're on a long filming day, and you have to lie naked on a freezing cold metal table, expected to play dead. Often, there are many more eyes on you than just the actors, and it can be an uncomfortable scenario for the actors. Executive producer Mark Horowitz said recently, people are dying to be dead people on this show. When we can, we like to use a real person to play the dead body, because even though the prosthetic bodies are truly remarkable, you can get very close to them and they look completely realistic, there's something about real skin. The way light bounces off of it, which you can do with makeup that just feels more real. Would you sign up for this gig? So what do we know about the second season of NCIS Hawaii? As we know, NCIS Hawaii aired last year and was the latest entry to the NCIS franchise. The show is actually filmed on location in Hawaii, and even though nothing has been announced yet, it seems as though the Hawaii installment will be returning for a second season if we look at the rest of the shows on CBS. The first season averaged a rating of 57 out of 100, so it didn't set the world on fire, but it did have an average of almost 6 million viewers per episode, which was pretty good. These are live viewings too, so don't take into account any streams of delayed viewings. The numbers indicate that it will probably be returning, so it will just be a case of watch this space. And finally, news on the Mother Show now. Stay tuned. The original NCIS is currently coming towards the conclusion of its 19th, yes, 19th season. Once the show returns after its mini hiatus, we will see three more episodes beginning on February 28th. Whilst Mark Harmon left at the beginning of the season, it has been revealed recently that Meredith Eaton is coming back to the show to save the day for season 19. We first saw Meredith in season 7 as the immunologist Carol Wilson. She then appeared in season 9 and then again in season 11. And we now know that Carol will be back for the final few episodes, which we think is great. She also appeared in the spin-off show NCIS New Orleans and executive producer on the show Stephen D. Binder said, we're beyond excited to be able to work with Meredith Eaton again. She's an amazing actor who brings a wonderful energy to our show. Since her last guest appearance in season 11, we've been chomping at the bit to have her back whenever her schedule allows. And now, with the team desperately needing that help of an expert immunologist, who better than Meredith's beloved Carol Wilson to come and save the day? The only real question is, will she be on time? And we're excited too. Are you guys psyched to see Meredith back on NCIS? Let us know below. As always, thanks for tuning in, and remember to stop by next time for some more fun and games. Also, why not share today's video with any NCIS fans you know? Adios amigos!